In yesterday's episode, I talked about a concept from Jack Canfield that he refers to as the success formula, which is event plus your response equals your outcome. Today, we're going to dive more into the response part and focus on the three things that allow you to have the best response possible. Welcome to Everyday A New Thought. I'm Thor Chalgren. When things are changing in the world, it's super easy to focus on how everything outside of us seems like it's changing. Maybe technology, culture, business, work, social life, education. We are constantly reminded that we are living in a changing world. We can feel sometimes like we're a victim or we're at the mercy of those things. But are we? In the success formula, those are all events. Those are the things that are outside of us. Our response is what determines our outcome. Today, I want to talk specifically about our response and the three things that we control, which is really the way that we respond. As Canfield writes, there are only three things that you have control over. Number one, the thoughts you think. Number two, the images you visualize. Number three, the actions you take, your behavior. Let's use an example. Let's say there's a graphic designer and that graphic designer reads an article about how a client switched to using AI to create artwork. So that's the event, reading the article that talked about something changing in their industry. So the thoughts then they could think, that's the first step, the thoughts, they might think, oh no, is this going to put me out of business? You know, work's going to dry up. I spent so much time and money learning this skill and now it's being phased out. So you can imagine those are all the thoughts they might have, which lead to sort of thinking this is not going to work out for them. The images they then visualize might be no clients, work drying up, losing out on money, possibly losing their lifestyle, losing their house. You can see all the visualization, the way that that can play out. And then the third step is what actions do they take? Maybe they don't take any or they feel paralyzed with inaction because they think, well, what's the point? So thoughts lead you to images that you visualize which lead to actions that you take. So that's what you actually control, your response. Now instead, what if they start by thinking new thoughts? They might think, for instance, hey, I could be at the forefront of change and how I embrace new technology. Maybe this will allow me to be more creative, more productive. I can bring on more clients because I have AI aspects to help me. This might then lead to new visualization, things, new images that they could look at. Maybe they visualize ways that, that it can enhance what they already do. They can see themselves integrating this into their business and how it brings them more clients. And finally, that can lead to new action. Maybe they decide, you know what, I'm going to read a short book on Amazon that teaches me how to integrate this into my business so that I can be thinking ahead and see how others have done this. So new thoughts need to lead to new visualizations, which lead to new actions. That's what you control. If there's an event in your life that you think you don't have control over, maybe instead reconsider how you might think about it in a new way, how you might visualize it differently, and then how you might take new actions. Remember, it's what you think, how you visualize it, and what you do. That's the episode for this week. If you like the show, please hit like if you're watching on YouTube. If you're listening to the podcast, please subscribe or follow the show on your favorite podcast app. Until tomorrow, thanks so much for watching.